Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be doing an introduction to AngelWeb. You would log in using the URL here. Uh, the login is largeco, password is angel. We'll be working on how to create new applications, working with existing applications, looking at reports, opening them with Excel, and exploring some of the features and options. So let's get started. <clears throat> so we're going to log in with large CEO and Angel. And this is the demo site. So there's lots of applications already created. Um, we can search by search for existing applications just by <clears throat> opening the find HOH page. We can type in all or part of a last name, open up the application, and we can see the information. But let's start by creating a new application. When the application opens up, you have a choice of what type of application to use. In this case, we're going to be doing an angel. The adults and children family size is useful information if you're doing financial qualification. There's a, a couple of different options. One is income versus a federal poverty guidelines calculation, or doing income and expenses, or doing your own qualification. And by the time you take the application, everyone has already been qualified. And that's the model we're using in this example. So we'll say one adult. One adult, two children, continue with uh, <clears throat> uh, continue taking the family information. When you enter the zip code, it automatically fills in the city, state, and county. You can fill in phone and information, email information. We have several options that are um, available if you wish to collect that information. In this example, we're using photo ID, marital status, and ethnic origin. Um, these are optional. You have up to seven of them, and you can fill in what you want the question title to be and what you want the answer set to be. And when you're ready, you click Add New Record. You'll notice that it fills in an application number. It also automatically gives you the appointment date and time based on how many um, applications have already been taken. So Joe Smith, he's male. <clears throat> Fill in a birth date. And you notice it automatically fills in a generated ID. Last for social is an optional thing. THQ has said don't collect social security information, but last for is, a, is an ability to do some searching. And uh, if you want to look up folks by that, but it's not enough to be worried about um, identity theft. In this case, that's what we're using. Uh, disabled is an option to say yes or no. Uh, ignore the date of birth that you've set because this child is disabled and they might be a little bit older, but you still want to do angel information. Others in the household is the ability to capture um, other names that are in the household so that you can um, search for them as well at a later point. We'll bypass that for right now. And now we're going to fill in the head of household information. So this is Joe. I'm sorry, this is the first child. So that would be Joey. And he's a guy. And he's seven years old. He's got a social. We did see his birth certificate. Again, that's another optional information. Bicycle request allows you to limit how many bicycles you have in the 
um, for the family. In this case, we're, we're collecting that information. You still have to fill in what kind of bicycle you want because otherwise we have no idea uh, what to buy. You can fill in sizing information. So he's a size 10. You'll notice that the um, selection for categories also include male or female or all. And this helps to um, do further checking to make sure that um, the choices you've made during the application process are right. So here I'm going to say a 14 inch bike. and video games. <clears throat> During the setup for this child, for this uh, site, we pre-filled in a default of clothing and books, but you can add to that um, and click on next when you're ready to finish this child. So this is child number two. You notice child number one, Joey, is now filled in and, and linkable. This is his sister, Sally. She's a girl. And she's five years old. We did see her birth certificate. She's not asking for a bike. And you can also, if you know the values in the drop downs, just hit the first letter to jump to it. You don't have to fill in all the clothing information, just those that you're asking for. And Sally would like Barbies. And coloring books. And clothing and books is fine. When you're done finishing the application, you click Next. And then when you're done, you just don't add any more applications. I'm sorry, you don't add any more children. You can print the application at this point. This has, in this example, this application has a barcode. If you wanted to be able to scan the barcode when they return, it has the appointment information, information about the family, information about each, the head of household and each child, there's some text down here at the bottom that allows you to customize what information you want to print on the application, and that's in the setup pages. What a lot of folks do is they print two copies of the application. One, they'll have the client sign at registration, and then the other one they take home so that they know when to come back. And so that's it for the application process. We have uh, a lot of statistics that are available for the site. When you open up the statistics, you can see all the information for this year and previous years. We can see appointment counts. So here's the information about all the appointments that have been taken. Uh, we can search for duplicates. We can look for errors in applications, those that might not have been completely filled out before we do printing. We can also print out a bunch of reports. For example, if I wanted a list of all of the children, all the members by ID, I would click on that. And then you'll notice it says it's much faster to download. So I'm gonna right click, save target as, and I'm going to save it. So here's the recording. I'm sorry, here's the Excel file. And you can see information, all the information about the, uh, all the children on the site. Well, let's see what else we want to look at. You can manage zip codes for your site. You can add additional users and logins. You can set up appointments. And you can manage your site. So here we're clicking on manage. 
and we're opening up the site information. So there's several pages of information about how your site's going to work. For example, if you want to print interviewed by on the application, you can say yes or no. Um, do you want to ask for a birth certificate? Here's where you configure the default date that allows the age for children and the age for elders if you're doing that. Uh, you click on next to go to the next page or you can use these navigation pages over here. If you want bikes per family to not show up on the list, you would set this to 99. Do you want to print these options, print a barcode? Do you want to do financial information? Do you want to be able to select from history? Here's where you would set up a question to do additional searching. This page here allows you to configure whether or not you're going to do the online adoptions, what the next application number is going to be. You can have other kinds of applications if you want. In this case, these are inactive. Here's where you would configure, yes, I want to have photo ID. Yes, I want to have marital status and what the options are for the answers. Here's where you can set up your ethnicity choices. You have other options if you want to turn them on. The angels uh, clothing information. Here's where you would set those up and decide whether or not to include those or not. Here's where you set up um, your uh, gift information. In this case, we have two categories, one called gift wish, one called child need. And we have a default value for child need. For each of the clothing information, you fill in a category and then the gender choice. For the messages on the application that get printed, here's a mixture of Spanish and English. And the positioning on the um, application is predefined, but you can change the wording of the things. If you want to include a particular pickup location to print on the application, you would fill that information in here. The next message screen is about what information to print on the actual angel tags. The final two choices are about financial qualifications. Do you want to do financial yes or no, or federal poverty, or income and expenses? If you're doing expenses, then you would also fill in these categories here. When you're all done with taking applications or you're ready to print, you would click on the down, download angel data to XML, which saves a file to your computer. And you would also download the angel reporting software, which allows you to uh, use the Microsoft Access program I've designed that knows how to print on the tags that we suggest. There's a lot more information on the help pages, including several videos, including this one. There's some good videos about working with sponsors, public facing adoption, setting up your client appointments and things like that. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I can be contacted at support at pwhdev.com and there's more information at this page. Thank you very much.